Hi, I'm David Dennis, a professor of history at Loyola University in Chicago, and uh, my area of specialization is modern European intellectual and cultural history. Well, my book is uh, called Inhumanities, Nazi Interpretations of Western Culture, and um, that is a title that uh, captures uh, you know, the main thrust of the book, which is uh, an analysis of how the uh, main Nazi newspaper uh, presented the history of humanities, what we, we would call the history of humanities, uh, what Germans would call the history of Kultur, with a K, um, from the time of Socrates uh, to the Nazi era itself. And it demonstrates how they took uh, what we con would consider the gems of cultural expression and uh, thinking in the Western tradition and presented them as consistent with the Nazi ideology. You know, the, the core of the book covers how the paper presented major figures from um, Luther to Bach to Goethe to Mozart to Beethoven to Wagner to Nietzsche in, in every area from music to literature to painting, philosophy, uh, all the areas uh, that we would uh, consider the mainstays of uh, Western culture. They presented such figures as consistent with you know, a few major themes that we're familiar with in, in Nazi ideology. They, they wanted to insist that uh, every one of their preferred figures was of German or Germanic background. And then they pressed uh, the notion that although you know, exquisite thinkers and writers and painters and musicians, um, these figures were all connected somehow with the general populace. And then they would press the notion that really all great art is political. It's politically motivated in part. And um, um, this usually involved insisting that people were patriotic or nationalistic. However, that would have been formulated in their era. And then, um, uh, this is there from the start, but uh, gradually more intensively insisting that the great figures were great fighters and uh, were no um, uh, were no pacifists and thereby tr attempted to turn these uh, great figures as well as their works into useful tools uh, for convincing Germans that National Socialism had a legitimate cultural historical foundation. I. I recognize that in my teaching at Loyola, especially teaching the survey, uh, I've worked so hard uh, to understand the history of humanities, the history of the arts, music, and literature, which I emphasize in my 101s and 102s, uh, that I had the capability uh, to assess not just what was going on in the music sphere, but also literature, also philosophy, also visual arts, architecture, and so on.